Hey, Dars. You know what? I'm ready for that walk. You want to go get ready? Darcy, don't ignore me. You know, she wouldn't want you to be like this. Hey, Mrs. Nelson. Hmm. Hi, Chuck. Glad I saw you guys over here. I was about to head back home when I saw you guys pull up. Hey, Darcy. Hey. I'll give you two a moment. Darcy? What's up? Is there something wrong? No. Nothing. Are you sure? Yeah. Where the hell have you been? You should have been home an hour ago. I was just taking a walk. What the hell is this? Where did you find this? I haven't seen this since. Please just give it back. Darcy, it's been a long day. Go to bed and we'll talk about this in the morning. So I was thinking about what we were talking about last night and I thought of something we could do today. What are you talking about, Mom? What did you want to do today? I think we should clean out Leah's bedroom. You can't be serious. <laughs> you, you can't just clear out her room. She needs her stuff. Darce, it's been two years since she died. She's not dead. She's not. She's still out there, and I'm sick of everybody saying that she's dead. So, I really like your dress, Darcy. I don't think I've ever seen you in black before. Thanks. It's not actually new. I've just never worn it before. I don't think I've ever seen that necklace either. Did you just clean your closet or something? Yeah. Darcy, is everything all right? What do you mean? Well, it's just that, what? I'm sorry, did you need something? Yes, actually. I thought you looked familiar. You're Darcy Nelson, aren't you? I used to know your sister, Leah. I'm sorry, my name's Ryan. I went to school with Leah for years. Wow, you look just like her. Here, let me give you my number. I'd love to catch up. 
It's been a long time since I've seen your sister. Let her know that you've seen me, all right? What the hell was that about? It's been two years since Leah drowned. You'd think he heard about that already. She didn't drown, Chuck. I've told you that. Oh, come on, Dars. Not this again. We've had this conversation how many times? The police closed that case already. There's no outstanding mystery here. He's probably just some dumb guy who came to visit his parents and hadn't heard the news yet. They didn't close the case, Chuck. They just told my parents it would be easier to let it go when they couldn't find anything. <laughs> that just means they can't do their jobs. It doesn't mean she's dead. Darcy, come on. I think it's time I go home now. I planned on having this ready before you came over, but you're here a bit earlier than I expected. I hope you like Earl Grey. It was all I had. I love it. It was Leah's favorite, too. Hmm. It was, wasn't it? So how is Leah, anyway? I don't know. She went missing two years ago. Everyone says she drowned. Hmm. And you don't think so? Honestly, no. I'm really glad to have run into you, though. I don't really know anyone that knew my sister and could tell me more about her. Most of her close friends stopped talking to the family or moved away to college, and there's no way my mom would ever talk about it. She barely acknowledges it as it is. Leah was a good girl, just like you are. It's a shame when good girls are taken away from the world so early. I'll be right back. Are you looking at my album? Um, yeah, I, I was just looking. Why, why do you have so many pictures of my sister? I didn't even know you two were friends. You were never around like any of her other friends. <laughs> Darcy, I have something to show you. This is what she was wearing when she went out that night. Why do you have this? What the hell is wrong with you? 
Oh, you Nelson sisters. I'm always with the questions. You know, you both look so much better in black. <laughs> now that I think about it, red was an even lovelier color on Leah. Do you think the same could be said for you? <laughs> <laughs>